Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today we have an interesting topic that is apparent and held in chemical evolution theory of life. We have divided this theory into different steps for better understanding. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing our channel. Let's begin. How do we calculate the age of Earth? According to geologist, Earth is around 4.5 billion years ago. How do we get this number? It is by measuring the age of oldest rock on Earth by carbon dating. Now we have Jack Hill Second Crystal from Australia, which is the oldest rock fragment known. This is a site of excavation that is near Perth. The age of this rock is approximately 4.3 billion years. Alexander Aparin is a Russian biochemist who proposed this hypothesis in a book which is later translated. This is the book The Origin of Life by Alexander Oparin. J.P.S. Haldin is a British biologist who proposed this idea in the Rationalist Annual 1929 and this is a paper regarding the origin of life. After Darwinism, this theory prompted extensive research globally on the association of biomolecules and origin of life. Moving into the theory, let us divide this theory into five steps. Step one is there were free atoms, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen that combined to form simple inorganic compounds like hydrogen, water vapor, methane and ammonia that later combines to form the monomers of present day biomolecules that is amino acids, purines, pyrimidines in the case of nucleic acids, monosaccharides in the case of carbohydrates, fatty acids and glycerol in the case of lipids. So step one is formation of organic compounds from simple inorganic compounds. Step two, this monomers combine to form polymers, the present day biomolecules, proteins, nucleic acids, fats, polysaccharides, etc., which is essential for life. Step 3, formation of coacervates. All these biomolecules that is surrounded by a lipid membrane, it is called as a coacervate. Step 4 is the formation of protocell, where there is nucleic acid control and protein control metabolism inside a lipid membrane, which is called as a protocell or protobion, called as ancestor of all life forms. Now let us understand each step. First step is abiotic synthesis of monomers from simple inorganic compounds. According to this theory, the primitive atmosphere has an extreme environment. There is no free oxygen or ozone. There is high temperature therefore everything existed in gaseous state. There is hydrogen, water vapor, ammonia, carbon dioxide, methane, hydrogen sulfide and hydrogen cyanide. This extreme atmosphere is primarily due to volcanic eruptions. Gradually, the earth starts cooling, water vapor condensed, followed by a torrential rain forming oceans. Now all these chemicals are now in the ocean. Haldin called this as hot dilute organic soup. Now all these chemicals are in water, the condition is suitable for chemical reaction. So torrential rain forming oceans, energy source for these reactions were lightning, UV rays, ionizing radiations and volcanic activities. So step one is abiotic synthesis of monomers from simple inorganic compounds. So these are the simple inorganic compounds, ammonia, methane, hydrogen cyanide, all are now in oceans and that reacted to form this monomers, glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, etc. So this is the reaction, carbon monoxide, carbon and oxygen forming glycerol and fatty acid, which forms the lipids, then nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and hydrogen all combined along with hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide forms the purines and pyrimidines or nitrogenous species, then this aldehyde forms this deoxyribose, ribose sugar, then this nitrogen containing ammonia and hydrogen cyanide combine to form amino acids. 
Step 2 is monomers combined to form polymers. Now in this hot dilute soup there is glucose, fatty acid, glycerol, then amino acids like lysine and proline. These combines to form polysaccharides like proteins, nucleic acids, fats, etc. So fatty acids and glycerol combines to form phospholipids whereas nitrogenous bases and deoxyribose ribose combined forming nucleotides amino acids join to form short polypeptide chains finally forming proteins. Step 3 is the formation of coiacervates. Coiacervates are formed from a colloidal system. It is actually a small liquid droplet containing organic molecules that is covered by a water membrane. It is capable of division. It can exchange substances with the outside environment. So this is a coiacervate. So these biomolecules are inside a water membrane. It is capable of replication and division. Later there many biomolecules were inside this membrane. This becomes more complex and complex. Step 4 is the formation of protocell. Coiacervate gradually evolved, becomes more and more complex where first a lipid membrane is formed. Within that there is nucleic acid, regulation mechanism, then proteins actually controlled the metabolism as enzymes, thus forming the protocell which is having a phospholipid vesicle with nucleic acid controlled regulation and also enzyme controlled metabolism. So coiacervate gradually increases its complexity finally forming the protocell called as the ancestor of all present day life forms. So this is the summary. Inorganic molecules combine to form the monomers in the first step that is glycerol and fatty acids in the case of lipids then nucleobases, ribose sugar in the case of nucleotides, amino acids in the case of proteins. In the second stage these combines to form the polysaccharides or polymers like phospholipids, the nucleotides, proteins etc. As we know this phospholipids forms the lipid bilayer which is very important. A membrane bound system is very important for life. Nucleic acid acts as genetic material whereas proteins are the enzymes controlling the entire metabolism thus forming the protocell that later diversified to form all forms of life. This is actually the theory proposed by Oparin and Haldin. And this is one of the theory that explained the origin of life. The importance is this theory prompted a research in biochemistry in connection with biomolecules and origin of life. So this is a geological time scale, Earth's history. According to geologists, Earth originated around 4.5 billion years ago. We have Jack Hill Circle around 4.3 billion years ago, the oldest rock fragment. Then there is an Archean period with extreme environment not suitable for fossilization. Then we have fossil records from 2.5 to 3 billion years ago. Eukaryotic cells or cells with nucleus appeared around 2.7 billion years ago. Then cyanobacteria around 3.5 billion years ago. Gradually the oxygen concentration in the atmosphere increased as a result of this blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. Uh, the atmosphere becomes oxidizing. That is the reason for emergence of aerobic organisms and diversity on this planet. Then even the dinosaur which is extinct is a recent creature that is that has appeared on earth. So as humans we have just stepped into the scene. Hope you understand Oparin Haldin's theory regarding origin of life. If you like this video, please consider subscribing this channel. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.